studio in the park at the Louisiana Children's Museum. Today, I'm going to be teaching y'all how to make nature paintbrushes, stamps, and stencils. In the studio, we really try to use as many natural and reusable materials as possible. That's why this project is so great. Everything is gonna be made out of natural materials and you can hopefully reuse all these things that you make today in future art projects. For our supplies, all that we really need is paint. I'm using some watercolor that I already had at home um, and then some white paper, a rubber band that is gonna be used in our paintbrush and a lot of these fun, beautiful materials that I picked up on my walk today. That's another really great part of this project is if you just take a walk or step right outside in your backyard, you will find all the materials that you need to make your stamps, stencils, and paintbrushes. So over here, I have the supplies that I'm gonna be using for my paintbrush, um, a stick, and any really material that you'd like. There's, I'm using grass, but there's weeds or anything that you find that you feel like would make a nice soft paintbrush. All right, so now we are going to be making our paintbrushes. We're gonna take our stick, and whatever material you decided to use for your bristles. I'm gonna be using this grass. I'm going to take this and I'm just gonna put it right up next to the stick, leaving a good amount up top for the bristles. All right, and then we're gonna take our rubber band and we're just gonna fasten it. You can also use string for this part. Now that we have our paintbrush, we are ready to paint. So before we start making our nature stamps and stencils, I like to try out our new paintbrush. So I'm just gonna do a few brushes on my piece of paper with my new little paintbrush. All right, so we're gonna dip it in the water. I'm gonna use blue paint. Get it nice and covered, let's see. All right. Ooh, nice little brush stroke. Let's try another color. Add some yellow. There we go, it's working. Awesome, all right, so now that we've tested out our paintbrush, you know that it works. Let's make some stamps. I chose to work with this one first. I think it's a really nice shape and size for our first stamp. And I'm gonna take my paintbrush, get just paint right on top. Try to get as much paint on the leaf as you can. All right, and then when you feel like you've got it pretty covered, I'm just gonna flip it over and place it on the paper and push it down to transfer the image. Try to push it in all of the parts of the leaf. All right, and we're gonna lift it up one more thing we're done. Ooh, there we go. All right, and then when you feel like it's good to go, flip it over, press it down again. And lift it up. Ooh. All right, so now we are going to make some nature stencils. I'm gonna take this flower, and all you have to do for this is lay it on top of the paper, just like that. Get the petals nice and spread out. All right, and then we're going to take our paintbrush, pick a color. I'm gonna use red. As much paint as I can. All right, and for this, we're just going to hold our flower in place and then paint around it, just like that.
So here are some of my finished pieces. These are my stamps. I did a lot with the leaf. I thought it was really great. Stamp to use. I think the best is this one. We've got this beautiful flower here. You can see all of the details of this leaf. These are my stencils. This one is definitely my favorite. I think it worked really well. It was this flower here. So here are just some of the stencils that I made. And there is my brush strokes from my new paintbrush. All thanks to this little guy right here. Today we learned how to make our own art supplies out of all natural materials. Um, we learned paintbrushes, stamps, stencils. I really hope that you guys are able to incorporate these into some projects in the future. Making our own art supplies is a great way to show our creativity and our appreciation for nature. Um, it's just like what we do in our collaborative projects at the Louisiana Children's Museum. It's also a new way to make art without needing to purchase any new supplies, which is what's so great about this project. I would love to see the art supplies you make with your natural materials and then the art that you create with your new supplies. Please share pictures or videos in the comments section or post them to your page and tag us. Hashtag LCM Connections and hashtag NatureArt.